And now we'll move on to facilities. With facilities, there's really two th main things to think about. One's power and one's cooling. The most important element here is cooling. Cooling can actually take up about 40% of the overall energy cost of your data center. So it's very, very important that you think about how to cool your data center. The most cost-effective way to do that is to use what's known as an end-of-row unit. And that's a, a unit that sits at the end of each row of racks and cools that row. You can actually get in-rack units as well. They tend to be a little bit more expensive because you're deploying one per rack. Uh, but if you've got a lot of high-density servers, a bunch of blade servers in one tiny area, an in-rack unit is good. Uh, the best thing to do is if you can get a room-based system to cool the whole room, uh, that's ideal, but in many cases you can't, depending on the design of the room. If it's an older building, or if the room wasn't specifically designed for a data center, the in-room room unit might be the, the harder thing to get. So from a cost perspective, uh, this is your cheapest option. The room-based one would be your most expensive option, and it goes down, but it, the, ultimately the right choice is going to be yours. From an overall power perspective, uh, you want to have an, uh, uh, a data center that's as green as possible, and so you need to think about how to underst uh, uh, understand how power is measured. And we haven't really had very many good industry metrics over time, but lately uh, GreenGrid.org has published several metrics thinking about power. Uh, the most commonly used one in data centers is something called power usage efficiency metric. And this is a ratio of your total power consumption divided by your IT load. Okay? And so this is a good idea of where you stand. Um, um, from, a, from an efficiency standpoint. A, a typical average data center um, is about 2.5. A very well-run one is about 1. That's hard to get down to. You need a room that's specifically designed uh, w with power in mind. Uh, uh, a poorly designed one is about 4. So uh, you want to try and be in this 2.5 range when you do your measurements. If you get a little bit above that, you want to take a look at maybe doing some things differently, uh, but try and stay in that range. There's also something called a carbon... Uh, usage efficiency metric that takes a look at your carbon footprint and compares it to others. And then lastly, there's also something known as a data center efficiency metric as well. So these things are all great, great ways to think about your data center. They all mean different things. If you go to greengrid.org, it'll help you understand what they mean. But from a facility standpoint, again, to recap, you want to think about cooling. It's about 40% of the cost. If you can get a total room-based solution, that's ideal. It's going to cost a bit more. And from a PUE perspective, try and stay in that two and a half range. It can be difficult depending on the room you have and the location you're at, but that's the range you want to be in.